Hi friends and welcome back to Up Close with Lawrence Show and Tell. So today I'll be showcasing Dead Storm, Blackest Night, Blackest Night, Blackest Night. So my first introduction to this character is from the CW The Flash. Uh, as far as I know, that Storm um, was like the former um, Firestorm that matrix with the Black Lantern core of some sort. Um, so anyhow, this one is part of the bigger fig, build a fig, say bigger fig, build a fig of um, Atrocitus or Atrocitus. I don't know how the pronunciation of that, but it's going to appear something like this. All right, so I don't know much because I don't know anything about comics. I'm not a fan of comics. Um, that's why I don't know much about the character, but I just bought this because I just love his lovable face. Okay, let's unbox this cute dead storm. So like the usual McFarlane toys, you have the build a fig here. You have the lantern because like I said, it's part of the, it's part of the Black Lantern core. Action figure, you have the uh, trading card. And of course the stand. So let's unbox and review this beauty. So here is that storm finally out of the clamshell. And he stands pretty well. The um, feel of the plastic or the rubber that they use here is slightly different to my, in my opinion. It feels um, kind of like more pliable in a lot of places. So let's have a quick look at fire, that storm here. So you can see the mold of the head is wonderfully done. This one is actually um, translucent in a way with some shine and some sheen to it. I mean, for the price of this action figure, this is pretty nice, you know? You have this kind of like, this is kind of like where it actually, uh, like the matrix, right? I remember that from the TV show. Uh, so this one is of course pliable and it has this kind of A shaped here with a silver accent. It's mostly black with the silver accent and this uh, uh, baby blue and all black the back it's kind of like pure energy right pure energy and just look at the face look at the face of that that's just amazing just amazing right there and you can Move the head for some. I understand you. Yes, 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 yes. I can understand. Not so much under looking down, and more so on looking up. And can you turn around? Yes. Oh, where are you? I'm here. <laughs> there you go. Look at that sculpt. Amazing. The wings here or the shoulder pads are pliable. You have, yep, the butterfly joint. You also have the, do we have, yeah, biceps articulation like there. And you have your double jointed elbows, which are nicely done here ball jointed hands here um, slightly tapered and of course the fingers the hands just like Dracula look at that beautiful and like so very nice the torso Move it around, and you can look up and down, up 
and around and you also have the um, waist articulation so this letter A here is actually separate okay and you have a lot of the thigh movement here yep and you can go around not so much on the splits like here okay McFarland joint oh I thought there is a thigh cut here which I'm not a fan of but if they put a thigh cut here it would have been a perfect design right there um, oh look at that crunch ouch oh god so new you have that um, knee articulation you have the foot articulation here and you have the toe and then foot the foot articulation is ball jointed but covered by the boot design okay covered by the boot design and oh, very nice really menacing reminds me of you know what it reminds me of um, I forgot the name of the character, but it's also like a fire or something with a motorcycle. That's what it reminds me of. So it has its own lantern for Black Lantern. I think you have to heat it up though. The hands are quite tough for him to be able to hold that lantern. Okay. For the Builder Fig, you have the head of Atrocitus. Look at that face. Look at those teeth that's the head okay and his shoulder pads which is pliable plastic so what I'm gonna do friends I'm going to the culmination of this series will be the build a fig of Atrocitus um, if you remember my um, uh, Kyle Reiner review in Paris I'm gonna put the link up here I review that in Paris and of course it's part of the build a fig of this series but I just thought of uh, completing this right after Christmas around New Year's time so again just look at that head the spark the sheen it plays nice with the light right because it's full of energy beautiful beautiful sculpt again another magnificent sculpt and toy from McFarland toys So here is Dead Storm with Parallax Green Lantern. Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy. Look at that wonderful figure. This is Dead Storm with the Joker from Arkham Knight. Here he is with Hush. And finally, you have here with his buddy the Penguin. <laughs> So friends, this episode ends here. I hope you enjoyed this smorgasbord of DC villains um, headed by Deathstorm. Loving this uh, sculpt. My next one would be, of course, um, either Superman or Batman. And then we'll build, we'll, we'll build Atrocitus after that. So like what I usually say, friends, always be kind to yourself. Always be kind to other people. Love your toys. Love your collection no matter what they are. Please don't forget to click the like button, thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you haven't, and click the notification bell as well. Until the next episode, goodbye.